Hi, Dr. Dara here. I wanted to do this tutorial um, because I saw this mistake on TV yesterday. Um, and here you see um, a video and this woman has, the reporter has um, a mask on, but there's a gap in between it. And I just thought that it would be important for all of us to learn how to properly put on and take off a, ma uh, a mask. Um, so there's errors in donning and doffing a mask. Um, so I've been wearing this uh, since I came into the office, but I'll show you how to take off the mask and then I'll put on a whole new pair. So, uh, so as far as taking off, I mean, everything right now would be considered contaminated. So if you imagine uh, paint on the outside of the mask, everything on the outside is considered wet paint. And you, the whole idea is to try to avoid having the wet paint, which is on the outside of anything that's exposed um, to your face, your eyes, your nose, um, and your mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, uh, take off my glasses first, and this would be considered now dirty because I've been outside on the buses with this um, in the office, and I'll take that off first. And what you want to do is not touch anything that is now on the outside of your face. So what you want to do is you take it by the earpiece and remove it, and I actually am double um, wearing, wearing two masks, one to protect the one underneath, so that this is now, this one is now uh, contaminated on the outside, the inside is cleaner, um, and then I had a second mask just as an extra precaution uh, to protect my, um, a, another layer here. So this I will uh, use for later, I'll leave it out, not necessarily throw it away, um, but I'll, I can still reuse that. And I'll take this one too. Again, you go from um, the outside of the earpiece because even though this is fairly clean because I covered it twice, um, I do want to still protect myself as best as possible. So I will return, I'll take this off and just put it over my head and use it that way and, um, and then go from there. Now, now my hands are dirty, but I can take that off. So again, making sure that you don't uh, contaminate your uh, face any further, you would then flip it off and then flip it inside out with the clean hand like that. And this is now um, clean and I actually just even put it in a regular bag when I don't need it to dispose or just to leave it out really in the sun um, later so that I'm not throwing it away, I'm not littering or anything like that. Now as far as putting on a mask, again, I have my hair tied back and my hands are now washed. Um, I just make sure that I wash right before I put anything in touching my face. And if you're wearing uh, this kind of mask, this is an N95, then you want to put it um, over the head like this and create that tight seal. Now you want to make sure that you're pressing up against this. With an N95 like this, you just want to make sure that there's nothing, it's airtight and you don't have any breathing. I see a lot of mistakes um, with people kind of putting it, you know, down here and then they're putting it back on again, on and off and on and off. But again, if this is on the outside, that's going to be exposed and now you've contaminated yourself. So again, you once you put it on, when, once you put it on, keep it on and it has to be over the nose until you're ready to take it off. Again, it's, it's tight, but it's tight for a reason, and that's so that there's no, so that you're breathing through the mask and not over it. So that's one type of mask. Um, there's another type of mask. Again, I'm going to be putting this and wearing this for the rest of the day, so um, I just want to make sure that it's a, a tight seal, is I'm going to be putting on the mask like this. and this goes over the head. Um, the one, there are other ones that go around the ears like this, so you just have to make sure that you're putting on correctly. And what you wanna do again is press against the nose as high as possible and not put it below the nose um, and keep it on for the rest of the day. You wanna make sure that you press against your face and have a tight seal here. Again, I'm, um, in a, it, it, I'm, I'm double um, masking just because um, I have more exposure than most people as far as seeing patients, um, but I, I'm also trying to protect the one that I have underneath. 
And so again, I have this one, you're pressing up against the nose, around the face. This one goes around the ears like this. I don't have any jewelry or any earrings or anything like that on. And hard to see because I usually do this in front of a mirror, but cover the entirety of the face. I see a lot of people who may you know, take it on, take it off, or put it below their chin and they're putting it back on. But again, you want it to try to touch the sides of it rather than the front of it as much as possible because that's where the most exposure would be. Um, and then, and then I usually use a different pair of glasses because I still have my, um, my glasses that I had from before. And what you want to do, you put it on afterwards and you want to make sure that the mask is underneath the frame, not on top. I'll see some people who have it half in and half out, but you want the mask um, as close to the face as possible and creating that tight seal there. So um, if you have an itch or anything like that, you know, some people I've seen, you know, use the inside of their shirt or use their elbow, but really taking any napkin, if I have to readjust anything, I can just take a napkin and just touch my face like this or whatever, and then throw that away and wash my hands. So hopefully that will be um, informative for those who are uh, taking on and taking off masks, really indoors and outdoors, rather than throughout the day when you're outside, because every single time you take it off, you've now exposed your hands to your mask and your mask then to your face, um, your eyes, nose, and mouth. So um, if there's any questions, then, um, um, I guess I'm in New York City, <laughs> but um, but uh, I think that'll be uh, good information for those who are um, wearing masks, as I would suggest everyone do, and um, be safe. All right, thanks.